What's going on guys? Today we're taking a look at this awesome little scope dog kit here from Wave. Now the really cool thing about this is it's the battling set. So we not only have one scope dog, we have two scope dogs and three scope dogs. So it's the same kit in three different colors essentially, but it's a pretty awesome set and I am very excited to check this out with you guys today in the review. So let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, guys, we'll start off taking a look just at the box and the contents of the kit here first. Interestingly, it only features one of the Votoms here on the front, even though it's a three pack. That's kind of the whole thing of with this set. Seems like it would have made sense to put three on the front, but we got this very beautiful painted illustration here by Kunio Okawara there, of course. So it does look very nice, I gotta say. Some really cool box art here on this. On the ends of the box though, we do have a photograph there showing all three color versions of it that you get here on the inside the, for the battling set in 135th scale. And on the side of the box, there's a look front and back of the green version, the blue version, and around on the other side, there's the brown version there. And then kind of interesting, you have kind of all three different color versions of the battling set logo there as well. But not too much else to see here on the outside of the box, so we can go ahead and pop this open. Now this is going to be probably a bit of a confusing build considering that you're basically just having three different colors of the same kit. And with this being a 135th scale, I believe the Bandai kits are in 120 scale, so it's going to be smaller if you've built any of like the Bandai kits before. But underneath all of those parts, you got a few different things to take a look at here. Number one is a very cool illustration there of a different version. I'm not sure exactly uh, what the name of this version is, but it's probably some sort of like reconnaissance type or something like that, it looks like. But there's the back illustration as well. Very cool colorway, I will say. And the instruction manual, at least the front of it, interestingly, is in kind of a different format. But then once we open it up, it's in the normal format. It's just different there for the image on the front. On the back, here is one of the painting guides for the brown version. But on the inside back cover, we've got the painting guides for the two other versions in here as well. The rest of the manual just being the construction. So it's basically just you do everything times three, and that is really gonna be kind of the gist of it. So a little bit of repetition gonna be going through with this kit. If you don't like that, you might struggle a little bit with this set. So here's the foil sticker sheet for the kit, and we've got three of these. Now all three kits are, like I said, of course, exactly the same. So we're just gonna go through one color version of it. The color version we're gonna be going with is blue. So these are the polycaps for the blue version. The polycaps are also a different color for each version. In this case, they're obviously a grayish blue color. That said, there are a couple of runners which are the same color for every version. Like this one, for example, the A runner is our part for the weapon. It's just in dark blue. The B runner here in a kind of pale bluish green color is also the same for each version. It's just for the visor part. Our other A runner though is gonna be our blue version. It's in this light grayish blue color there. Runner C is also the same for each version because it's just this plain clear piece there for the lens. Runner D also gonna be the same for each version of the kit. It's in this bluish green color there for some internal pieces. Then runner E is in that main light bluish gray color there for some of the outer armor. Runner F is in a little bit lighter blue color for a couple of accent pieces. Runner G, of which we have two, and Runner H are back to that main color for the suit. Runner I, back to our lighter blue accent colors. Runner J, back to our main color, and again, some very nice details around on this kit. Some very sharp little details around everywhere. Same thing here on Runner K. So even though this is 135th scale and going to be pretty small when fully assembled, you can see it does have a lot of very nice details. Runner L in our lighter blue color for some parts around the feet there, it looks like. Runner M in our main blue color. Runner N we have two of, it looks like probably for like knee joints or something. And a couple more little runners here, Q and R, and that's going to be it. All right, so here is the kit all built up. Obviously, just one of the three. We'll take a look just here at the green version as our primary one. We'll take a look at its accessories and articulation, all that. And I'll give you guys a look at, of course, all three different versions of them, the blue, the brown version. The set looked great, even just straight out of the box with all the details and the colors on them look really good. But let's go ahead and take a closer look. Just taking a look at some of the articulation here of this. So obviously, the scope on the front can move side to side. And I'm just moving it kind of gently, but you can also lift this part up slightly like that. You can also remove this entire part, which does come off very easily. But in theory, you can just not take it all the way off and just have it opened up like that. Inside, you do have like 
a little bit of detail in there, but not necessarily a whole lot. There's obviously not like a seat or anything like there, a full on cockpit. So it's missing that, unfortunately. You can rotate the body here in the midsection. The arms obviously will move up and down and out to the side to about like that, not even up 90 degrees. So only a little bit out to the side there before everything's gonna kind of be coming apart a little bit. You got some rotation there at the arm, about a 90 degree bend at the elbow. And the hand is just going to rotate. Obviously the hand guard here on the back just kind of hangs loose there like that. So you have to glue that into a specific position if you wanted it to be stuck in any one position. All the skirt armor is gonna be the same. It all just kind of hangs loosely here. The side skirts there, the back skirt as well. But you do have nice detail up underneath all these parts as well, so that's looking nice. And it's all around. I mean, I don't wanna knock this these kits for being you know, relatively simple in their construction, not all that large, but they do have a lot of really nice detail on them. Bring the leg up to about there, bend the knee back to about there. That's gonna be about the extent of that, as you can see. This armor panel here on the back of the leg also just gonna hang loose there. This one here at the back of the leg here is just hanging there. And the one at the front here as well will move up and down kind of when you move the foot. The foot itself will move forward and back a little bit side to side a little bit. You can kind of adjust the angle of that, not really a whole lot. Up underneath the feet, nice detail there. The little kind of spike on the side that doesn't actually extend is just like the details there, but doesn't actually do anything. So yeah, it's gonna be pretty basic and not all that stable. This is definitely a model kit that's made to be done with a little bit more of a modeler's touch. It's not really the kind like a Bandai HG or something like that you can take out and just kind of mess with it a bunch and not expect anything to fall off. This is gonna fall apart a little bit on you if you're messing around with it too much without, you know, gluing everything. You don't necessarily have to glue moving parts, but you know, little bits that, you know, aren't moving parts, you're probably gonna wanna glue on this. Now for your optional parts for this, basically you have closed fist hands and then you have weapon holding hands. And you have weapon holding hands for either the left or the right side. And you can also change the angle of the wrist. And basically you just have a bunch of these little parts like this, which are just optional wrist pieces. So depending on what angle you wanna hold the gun, in either the left or the right side. Well, I guess actually I take that back. The right side would be the trigger finger hand here for the gun. The left side, I'm not really sure what you can hold with that. There doesn't really seem to be anything included with this set that you would really be able to hold, I guess, except for like the secondary handle. You could hold that. I don't think that the articulation will actually reach that. I'll try it though. But here's your gun and the trigger finger hand. I just have it already attached on here for the time being, but the gun is the same for all three versions. It's the same color and everything as well. So there's nothing different about this between three versions. It would have been nice if we would have had like a couple of different option parts for the weapon that you could build it in different ways if you wanted to, but they're just gonna be all the same, unfortunately, obviously seam lines and everything on that, but cool design and cool details and everything. And for a size comparison, here it is with a 144 scale Gundam kit. So you guys can get a sense of the size of this. They're gonna be pretty small, obviously, as you can see, smaller than your standard HG kit. But again, in universe 135th scale, so it should match with any other 135th scale stuff you might want to pair these with in some sort of diorama or something. But overall guys, taking a look at all three color variations of the kit that we have included here, it's a really great set. If, even if you didn't want to fully paint them, you want to just maybe glue a few bits, do a little panel lining on there, maybe just a little bit of weathering just straight on the plastic, spray it with some matte coat. I think they would look, honestly, you could probably make them look pretty good without even fully painting them. Just the colors they're molded in all looks pretty nice just as is. But of course, I think these models are probably best served by you know giving them the full treatment, painting them up, weathering them, doing all that. This is probably what most of you guys are gonna wanna do if you pick up this set. But I can definitely recommend it. It's a really cool set. I'm not really that super into Votoms, but I do really like this set quite a bit. So I'll be thinking about what I might wanna do with one or two or all three of these, building them into some sort of scene. I'm not exactly sure yet, but really cool set. I do really like the feel of the models. They remind me a lot of just like a 120 scale Machine Krieger kit, just in terms of their relative simplicity. You know, you have a couple of seam lines you have to clean up here and there, but mostly you can kind of just glue everything in place and you have a really nice, very detailed model right there. So it should be a lot of fun to work on, but let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comment section below. What do you think about this set? It's my first time building a scope down kit from Wave, but I know they make other different kits from the series and other different you know, variations of this and things like that. So if you guys have any recommendations, by all means, you can let me know down in the comment section below. But of course, if you're looking for more model kits from Wave, and all sorts of other different mecha model kits, you guys can check the link to USA Gundam store down in the video description below. There's all sorts of stuff for you guys to find there as well as supplies and paints and all that good stuff as well. So that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed taking a look at something a little bit different today, but if you have questions, you know, you can feel free let me know down in the comment section, but thank you so much for checking out the video. If you'd also like to like and or subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated. But until next time, guys, hope you all are having a great day. I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.